Assalamu alaikum. First lecture in venous arterial ECMO is about patient selection, uh, the indication and contraindication of venous arterial ECMO. There are two types of ECMO, respiratory ECMO or VV ECMO, cardiac ECMO or VA ECMO. VV ECMO used to bypass the lung can use to support patients with respiratory failure it requires good native heart to pump blood into pulmonary and systemic circulation. VA ECMO bypass the heart and the lung, used to support patients with cardiac failure. It can be used in patients with cardiac failure with or without respiratory failure. What is VA ECMO? VA ECMO means venu arterial. So the first letter will go for the drainage cannula, which is in the vein. And the second letter will be return cannula, which is the artery. We have two types of VA ECMO, peripheral VA, where the venous drainage will be in femoral vein. And this will be extend into the junction between inferior vena cava and right atrium. The arterial cannula, or return cannula will be a femoral artery extend into the abdominal aorta. The other type of venous arterial ECMO is central venous arterial ECMO. The venous drainage will be from right atrium and the return cannula will be into aortic arch. It's usually be inserted uh, after sternotomy uh, commonly after uh, cardiopulmonary bypass, as it requires the sternum to be open. Now we will come for indication for venous arterial ECMO. What is the indication? This is acute severe cardiac failure, refractory to medical therapy. We should know that ECMO is a supportive therapy, and should we know that it's supportive therapy, not cure therapy, and it acts as a bridge for what? For heart transplant, for ventricular assisted device, durable uh, ventricular assisted device, bridge to recovery, and bridge to put artificial heart. We will start indication for venous arterial ECMO. First indication is cardiogenic shock. It should be before multi organ failure or in patients who are in need for mechanical circulatory support. So, if a patient with biventricular failure, or patient who has right ventricular failure, or patient with left ventricular failure with significant hypoxemia. The causes of cardiogenic shock, like my acute uh, pulmonary myocarditis, uh, acute uh, myocardial infarction, or with its, even with its mechanical complication, recent persistent unstable arrhythmias, heart transplant rejection, decompensated heart failure, accidental hypothermia, cardiotoxic drug overdose. Determine the need of uh, mechanical circulatory support and the, its timing. Medical cardiogenic shock are divided uh, into seven stages uh, by uh, Intermax score. Uh, each stage has its characteristic and the timing for uh, mechanical circulatory support. For example, the first stage is critical cardiogenic shock where there is life-threatening hypertension and organ hyperfusion. So, in this stage, the mechanical circulatory support is urgent and it should be done within hours. The second stage, the patient is declining the function. However, he is on inotropes. He, maybe he can uh, tolerate uh, inotropes. He has congestion, respiratory failure. This patient should have mechanical circulatory support on uh, days. Uh, after the third stage, in the third stage, he is stable and has organ, uh, good organ function on inotropes, but he cannot uh, tolerate the weaning. So at this stage, we can wait for weeks to months to apply mechanical circulatory support. Uh, and this is for this also for uh, the fourth stage. In the fifth and sixth, seven stages still variable in time and still seven doesn't need mechanical circulatory support. Another score to divide uh, cardi card medical cardiogenic shock and can be done uh, at bedside. It's done by Society of Cardiovascular Angiography and uh, Intervention. 
And what I like in this school, it uses alphabetical letters, A, B, C, D, E. A is a patient is at risk to develop cardiogenic shock and high disease process uh, as acute myocardial infarction or acute MI. P is a beginning to develop cardiogenic shock with hypertension or tachycardia. Uh, there is no evidence of tissue hypoperfusion. Starting from C, this is an uh, area for mechanical, uh, mechanical circulatory support uh, and C abbreviation classic cardiogenic shock with hypertension which require inotropes with, without uh, vasopressor or mechanical circulatory support. D, deteriorating, is the same category of C, but fail to restore perfusion after 30 minutes of intervention, like using inotropes or vasopressors or without, with or without mechanical circulatory support. E, extremities, uh, it's circulatory collapse with severe hypertension or arrest despite maximum support or uh, insertion of ECMO. Then after finishing the cardiogenic shock, we will go for the second indication is primary heart transplant allograft dysfunction. And it can be used in early graft dysfunction immediately, uh, waiting for recovery or for new heart. Using ECMO post heart transplant, uh, maybe due to early graft dysfunction, with an ability to be separated from the bypass machine, and the second scenario is a graft failure or persistent hyper, pulmonary hypertension. So we can use VA ECMO as a stage for recovery or waiting for another graft to, to be retransplanted. Postcardiotomy, uh, postcardiac surgery, uh, it can be used failure to be separated from bypass or cardiogenic shock in early postoperative period, maybe due to stunning or hypernation of myocardium. In patient post cardiotomy, uh, if, we, if, we, if they have shortest duration from two to three days, they will have better survival. Uh, commonly, failure to be separated from the bypass machine. The preoperative risk factor uh, for ECMO, if the patient is young age, high creatinine, repeated operation, there is unstable clinical condition, long history of coronary heart disease with acute MI, if the patient has done emergency operation uh, in complete vascularization without using of left internal memory. ECMO mortality post cardiectomy, the age of the patient, uh, more than 60 years, depending on the center experience and the prevalence. Uh, some uh, centers go to higher age uh, as they have more experience for the age. Unstable patient, uh, before insertion of the ECMO, uh, unstable hyenotropes, the stage we, we, the, uh, we interfere to insert the ECMO. The operative predictors like high lactate and uh, the duration of stay on ECMO. Regarding the operation, combined operation, long-term cardiopulmonary bypass, preoperative lactate more than 4 millimole per liter, and complete sternal closure. Another indication for VA ECMO is massive pulmonary embolism as a bridge for intervention. VA ECMO can be used in massive pulmonary embolism as life-saving in hemodynamically unstable patient and with respiratory insufficiency. It can be used as a secure therapy after thrombolysis, bridge to cluster directed thrombectomy or embolectomy, or bridge for surgical embolectomy. Another important indication for VA ECMO is cardiac arrest, like extracorporeal cardiopulmonary resuscitation, or in case of mechanical complication, preoperative acute myocardial infarction, like uh, rupture uh, uh, ventricoceptal defect, or ischemic mitral regurgitation. Is all cardiac arrest patients should have uh, ECMO? This is the question very important to decide when to put ECMO for cardiac arrest. Short time of no flow, like witnessed arrest or shockaborism, high quality CBR, uninterrupted CBR, uh, during CBR entitled CO2 more than 10, with sign of presence of sign of life, reversible etiology of arrest like hypoxemia or hypothermia, persistent arrest with uh, appropriate uh, CBR uh, less than 60 minutes to, to avoid any CNS dysfunction, 
if there is favorable patient factor with no contraindication to ECMO insertion. What are the contraindications of ECPR? Patients who are morbid obese, who are having peripheral arterial disease, will have difficult to obtain the access, peripheral access for ECMO. Uh, obvious contraindication for heart transplant or durable uh, ventricular assisted device, as we mentioned, ECMO is a transition stage, not a, is a bridge for a, a, another decision, not a cure by itself. Advanced age, patient who have multiple comorbidities, patient who have evidence of irreversible neurological injury. Another rare indication for a preoperative support in case of mechanical complication of post-acute myocardial infarction, in case of rupture VSD, uh, it was noted that delayed surgical repair has better outcome, but this repair will affect the function of left ventricle and right ventricle, so ECMO can be used. Also, uh, using ECMO in case of free wall uh, rupture, uh, allowing recovery of free wall without any surgical repair. Uh, the second indication is preoperative prophylaxis of ECMO in case of uh, Transannular uh, valve implantation, TAVI, uh, give better outcome. What are the contraindications of VA ECMO? VA ECMO is not a treatment by, it, by itself, but it is a bridge for another thing. So if we have a reversible cardiac failure with or without multi-organ function, so there is no hope for recovery and no hope for uh, the patient will be not candid for a uh, heart transplant or ventricular assisted device. Uh, the patient has advanced age. Uh, the, uh, the, no presence of vascular access for cannulation. Uh, refractory vasoblastic shock as presence of ECMO can cause more vasodilatation, severe aortic insufficiency or unprepared unre aortic aneurysm as uh, the return cannula is inserted in the abdominal, to each abdominal aorta. Pre-existing life-ending condition like reversible seniors by pathology or terminal disease. Is BD considered a, a contraindication for ECMO? Sure, anticoagulation is needed for ECMO. It's more needed for VA ECMO more than VV. Why? As arterial access increase the risk of end-organ infarction, especially stroke. For example, the return cannula will be uh, inserted into the abdominal aorta. So, pushing of the blood from the cannula to the wall of the aorta will cause displacement of stromatous uh, plaque, showering for brain to GIT. Poor contractile function of the native heart, plus decreased native cardiopulmonary blood flow during bypass, will increase the risk of thrombus formation. The brain bond circuits is used to improve blood surface interaction. Patients may tolerate ECMO free anticoagulation for a short period of time. This is can happen in patients with trauma, active bleeding, or patients with coagulopathy. Another contraindication for ECMO is for those who not accept a blood transfusion, as ECMO will require multiple blood transfusions. VA ECMO prediction of mortality, multiple scores can be used to predict survival of patients with cardiogenic shock which are placed on VA ECMO. Safe score, encourage score, and predict score. And these scores are still under evaluation, so they didn't use regularly. Mortality can increase with acute kidney injury, increased age, acidosis, acute liver dysfunction, CNS dysfunction, low pulse pressure. Besides these references, I depend on Elso Red Book and images in this lecture are drawn by Gihad Abdul Thank you, and you can put your questions in the comment.